Next to 10, federal health officials are keeping their eye on our nation's blood supply, hoping that a problem parasite doesn't create any bad blood. The 19th Andy Choi has the story. It's new at 10. With the pump of a fist, David Frederick is doing his part, lending a hand to those needing blood. No reason not to. Donors at the American Red Cross must pass a battery of tests, but federal health officials are working with blood suppliers to stop a tick-borne parasite that can potentially slip through the screenings. Babesiosis is something we've known about. It's not a disease that we test for at the present time. Uh, but occasionally we do see cases transmitted by blood transfusion. Medical director Dr. John Weiss says transfusion transmitted babesiosis is rare. Three cases in the past 10 years at the Red Cross Badger chapter. But Weiss says the goal moving forward is to stop it from ever happening again. There's not a readily applicable uh, screening test that can be put into mass production. But <clears throat> the trend is to work towards that. That's the one that we think gives most of the people the illness because it's so tiny. It's the immature stage. I mean, that's barely. You can barely see it. UW entomology professor Dr. Susan Paskowitz says the concern with babesiosis and other tick-borne illnesses lies not just in its microscopic size. We're seeing more and more of all of these things as the deer tick population expands in Wisconsin, both gets bigger in, in places where it's been established for a long time and also begins to move into new areas. The concerns over tick-borne illnesses are greater than ever before. For the first time ever, researchers at UW-Madison are finding deer ticks right here in Madison. I've never seen a tick in Madison even, so I'm kind of surprised. Bill Jabber contracted Lyme disease 20 years ago, but the Madison resident has since recovered and says the news won't stop him from cycling. You just deal with them. You got to check if it's tick season, you got to look for them. If you're in deer country, you got to check for them. The Centers for Disease Control is advising physicians to keep babesiosis on their radar screen for patients with unexplained fevers, fatigue, or anemia. Babesiosis can be fatal for those with compromised immune systems, and that's why blood suppliers are currently working to find a practical screening for those who are donating blood. All right, Andy, thank you very much. You're welcome.